Welcome back. City leaders are not only tasked with keeping locals safe during this pandemic, but also helping small businesses stay afloat. Our JJ Burton is in Madeira Beach, where city leaders have approved waiving rent for some businesses. When is the last time you've seen this? It's very strange to see the times like this. Boarded up businesses, empty parking spots at Johns Pass Village, and were closed signs on just about every business throughout Madeira Beach. And with more and more people catching the coronavirus, times are bound to get a lot tougher for all of us, including the local businesses out here. Spencer Jacoby owns the reef on Gulf Boulevard. Restaurants are even closing doors because they can't afford the bills every single month. And sadly, some of these businesses will not reopen. But city leaders voted to help the businesses that rent property owned by the city, like the Snack Shack and the Saltwater Destination. They will get at least one month free rent. That's a good thing that the city's out there to help right now. And Jacoby's restaurant is one of the few that are still open. And he says they're usually packed. It's Easter Sunday today and the bar is, it would be packed. It doesn't matter when it was, when it, where it was. The bar is always back to our breakfast, they're killer. Even though his business is hurting right now, he's still finding ways to help the community, specifically those on the front lines. We're offering 50% off for any of the hospitality workers, 50% off for any hospital, police officers, firefighters, anybody in the medical field. Madera Beach City leaders are now asking private property owners, like the owner of Johns Pass Village, to help residents and small business owners out as well by either lowering their rent or waiving it all together for one month. We're all in this together. In Madera Beach, J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.